If you're here on a search because you have a smelly book and the title brought you here, long story short, there is no silver bullet. Nothing I've found works. Real quick, I can tell you that baking soda works a little bit, sawdust works a lot better, and sunlight seems to work the best. All three of which work even better in conjunction with air. Air has to get to it. The air got to it! Sunlight is the best disinfectant, they say. Uh, it might be the case if you're talking about mildew, and this was a bad one. Uh, I ordered the book from eBay and it arrived with spots on it. It was, it was harsh. If, if you're sensitive to smell especially, this was... The book, as soon as I opened the package, it made my face itch. I took a few pictures and then I sent them to the seller and the seller quickly refunded my money because it was, it was bad. There was no way that I was going to deal with it. But the book is a thorough and I thought about it and what would he think? He being so frugal and averse to waste, what would he think if I were to throw out a book over a smell? He would probably think that's kind of petty. And so I decided to give it my best effort to make the book usable, which is tough because scent is important to me as uh, I'm an avid reader and smell is well, it's kind of a mnemonic device when you read. You remember books for their smell, and, and you associate a pleasant book with a pleasant smell, and it just becomes part of the experience. Okay, I'm off topic. Anyhow, let's assume that you have a smelly book and you want to do something about it. Oh, it still smells. <sighs> and also the book, just from going through all these this process, it's it's paying the price in, in condition because it was, other than the mold that was all over the thing, mildew rather, it, it was in pristine condition. The first thing that I did with it was baking soda, just because that seems to be everybody's go-to answer, but it doesn't work. Although there, there might be a benefit, and that benefit is look into it yourself. There's, it's probably a good first step just to stop the, prog the progress of the decomposition of the book. But after, what I did was I put it into a bucket like this. Once in here, it sort of splays the pages out in this way, and I dumped a box of baking soda over the whole thing, and it went down in, and it, it worked really well to hold them all open like this. And that assist the air to get to it and help it to dry out and kill anything that's growing in it. The air got to it! I gave it, a, uh, I don't know, two or three days and two or three boxes of baking soda with a treatment like that. And then I moved on doing the same thing with these planar shavings. It's like a really coarse sawdust and it certainly worked. This got more of the smell out than the baking soda ever did by a factor of 10. In fact, I can tell that it worked because the book doesn't smell as bad as the sawdust now. This actually smells the way that smelled when I first got it. It's as though it absorbed it and transferred it to this. So I think my next step is I'm going to try again with a different sawdust, but I don't have any at the moment. If you have something like aromatic cedar, that would probably be ideal. This was maple, and maple has a really pleasant, fresh scent. It's not as strong as a pine or a cedar or anything like that. It's really clean, really hygienic as far as wood goes. Maple is the sort of wood that you would use for kitchen stuff, like a cutting board or anything that will come in contact with food. Well, I'm going to continue to give it sun because I think that's my best bet for the moment. It can enjoy the sun and the air with the dog as I do other things. But the purpose of this video was really more about the commentary. Check the commentary underneath. I'm going to continue to experiment with this book because it was a worst case scenario. The smell of this book was a 10 out of 10 on the offensive scale. And right now it's about a three and a half. But again, check the commentary. Hopefully there's some helpful people here that have experience with this. If you are one of those helpful people, please 
say something underneath. Help us out because I looked everywhere and I couldn't find a silver bullet for this problem. And in the meantime, if I'm lucky enough to come up with something for this problem, I'll mention it down below. Let's help each other out, okay? I can't believe that the sawdust smells that bad. Ah, I'm losing my sunlight. Oh, one more thing. If you have actual experience with this, say something, but if you're just speculating or offering an idea that you haven't tested, please make the distinction in the comments. Okay, thanks. See ya. Ugh, you can't like that smell, can you? Raz, leave it, ooh. <laughs> I think Thoro might say something about how the smell doesn't change the content of the book. That said, uh, I've seen things of more offensive content that wouldn't smell up five gallons of sawdust. Wait, don't go away yet. I want to show you my next attempt. Remember, we want to get air to it. The air got to it! I'm going to let it remain like this overnight. That's a lot of air exposure. So check in down below and we'll see how that went. But there's something that I wanted to tell you. I noticed that I forgot to tell you how I got the mildew off the cover. This book is in great shape. It doesn't smell at all, but I want to show you the process because it's harmless. This book is the other one's counterpart. A little bit of baking soda and it's sort of abrasive so you can use it like this to kind of scrub the mildew away. Dump it off when you're done, and then finish it with some compressed air. It should look like new. Good news, everyone! It worked. It really worked. The air got to it. What? You're waiting for me to say something? It really worked. I would say it was at a three and a half yesterday. It's at a one today. Uh, you have to kind of stick your nose into it to detect the odor, but at reading distance, it's not bad at all. The only overall bad part is that the book seems kind of fluffed up when it should be nice and flat like this. What happened here? Uh, exposure to a lot of heat and changes in humidity probably. Uh, I think if I let it rest with some weight on it over time, it should restore its flatness. But, you know, it comes down to, like so many things in life, how much effort you're willing to put in to the problem. Uh, like so many other problems, tenacity is the solution. You choose your own level of involvement. But at this point, the smell is inoffensive enough that it could be masked with something else. I think I might use cornstarch baby powder at some point just to help bring it completely away from that musty smell. But for now, this is probably good enough that it can go in my house and I'm rather picky about these things. In for a penny, in for a pound, and I know it's a lot of labor to dump into it, but I'm going to take it all the way, and so I'll give it another sawdust treatment and another fan treatment, and then probably last the baby powder. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you in some way. If you have this problem, you can work your way through it for the most part. There is hope. One last tip before I go. If you do want to get the powder out of your book, and you want to use compressed air, Hold the book like so, so that as you blow air through it, the pages don't have room to fold. If you open it up and blow in, the pages will go all over the place. So just keep them like this so they don't have room to double over.